big squid eye is. Absolutely delicious. Now, beautiful squid. Good size car wipe for this. Look at that. This is our kitchen for today. We actually got everything in the car and got all the way down to the beach on this beautiful day and we don't have a motor. Let's get the motor. We'll go fishing this time. That's better. Let's go fishing. row over here that looks quite good to me because it's got some floats up and some floats down which usually indicates that it's been harvested recently so there'll be a bit of the line where all the mussels are gone and a bit where there's a good crop on so, you know that recent activity will sort of mean that there should be fish there so I'll try there first I've been catching a few squid just lately and um, I like to eat the hoods and save the other parts of snapper bait so these are dynamite snapper bait so check out the size of these heads too so there's one of these massive squid heads that I've saved I'm going to cut that into smaller pieces and use that as bait today it's a nice big squid eye as a bait let's try that first Alright, hooked up. That feels like a solid fish too. Unfortunately the wind picked up a little bit here and damaged some of our audio so I'll have to tell you what I think I said. This is my very first bait that I've just dropped down. It's been picked up on the drop. It's a piece of fresh squid and the snapper couldn't resist. It's been sucked up. And this feels like a dinner fish. Hopefully I can catch the fish that I want quickly so we can get out of this wind. Oh yes, this one looks delicious sized. Welcome aboard mate. Wow. Well done. Pretty happy with that for my very first drop. Beautiful table fish. Good start to the session. Bites again straight away. As soon as I got to the bottom. Oh yeah, nibble, nibble, nibble. Another fish. Pretty good. Two fish from one bait. It's my second fish on that piece of bait. It feels like a similar fish. Um, that's our mission today. So basically, it's catch dinner um, and catch fish for the next few days. And it's going very, very well. It's a very good beginning. Another great fish for the pond. Hooked up. It's not that big this one, I don't think. Pretty cool though. Squid is deadly bait on these guys. Fresh squid though, it's got to be the real squid. It's not the same as fishing with a pack of squid. Not that I don't do that as well. Look at that spit now, all the bully he's been eating. How much of my bully he's been eating? Another not bad pan sized fish, but we're going for a slightly bigger than that. Not, you know, he's a, he's a beautiful legal fish, but I like them just a little bit bigger. Get a little bit more meat off the fillets. So we'll pop this guy back and see if we get him a little bit bigger than that. See you later, mate. Not on that time. He's another eater, I would say. He's good. He's coming. Awesome fish. Beautiful. Now he's the size that I was talking about. Uh, about 35 to 40. And they've got just a little bit more thickness to the fillet. And they make uh, a lot better eating. Beautiful fish. Alright, let's get him on the ice too. That's what I wanted. Big 
exactly what I was after. That will be some sashimi for a bit of lunch and uh, maybe a little bit more for later. You can use just about anything for bait to catch kohiru, but my favourite way and the way that I find the most effective is I like to use a tiny little hook, a single hook, no sink or anything, so it's completely unweighted and a very small piece of bait. So I use a piece of bait, you know, about that size. At today I'm using squid, but you really can use just about anything. Single hook, super effective, and just float it down the burly trail to them. Quite often you can see them waiting in the burly trail. You can actually see them eat the bait, but um, if not, you just keep feeding it down and hopefully you get to that layer where they are. Right, I'm gonna try and get a few more of those beautiful kohiru. Mm. One. A nice big fat one. Look at that. Oh, I love these things. Beautiful. There we go, it's another beautiful one. So they get a little bit bigger than this, but that is a that's quite a nice size one. Beautiful meat on these fish. So you can't find kohiru everywhere. Um, I usually find them around offshore islands or around deep drop-offs. They're not super, super common, but places that you find them, they tend to be there all the time. It's the middle of winter and I'm still catching lots of them at this place where I found them. Sweet as, number three. Here we go, number four. That's my last kohiru that I wanted. We'll get him cleaned up and on the ice. Juliana decided she wanted a raw fish, so I had to catch a couple of extra ones. They look beautiful. It's nice and cold. We'll take it on a little bit of water slowly, so every now and then we have to start the old bilge pump up, have a bit of an empty up. Good bite. Beautiful. That's what we want. This one actually caught itself in the rod holder while I was relieving myself. Not bad at all. It's probably the fish of the day actually. That was a good bite. I just dropped down. Uh, that was another piece of the old squid, that one. Very nice fish. Good take right there. Just over 40 centimetres I'd say that one. Look at that. It's a cowboy, I think. Yep. Good size cowboy for the smoker. Awesome. That concludes a pretty good little afternoon session. We've got some really nice snapper for the table and a nice kahawai for the smoker. And we also got some really beautiful kohiru. I'm pretty stoked with the size of some of them. There he is. Look at that for a kohiru. They really don't get much bigger than that. Absolutely delicious. Beautiful fish. Now it's time we go and stretch our legs and explore a little bit of island. So we're going to go and check out this spot behind us here. Yeah, pull the boat ashore and have a bit of a wander, stretch our legs. Beautiful! I love this place! Oh, it's a stingray, that's what it is. Look, you can see them. See the wings coming out of the water over there. There we go. Unlucky Jew. Disembarked just the second too early. Start. I'm gonna push this out here and then turn it and I'll drag it up in this nice little sandy spot. How's this? Beautiful. Not a bad place to chill, eh? Here's our beautiful, fresh, fresh, fresh kohiru. We just got these literally just around the corner. They are dead, don't worry. They've been bled and gutted. Um, they're just very, very fresh. So I'm just gonna whip some pullets off those because we want some nice fresh sashimi. This is our kitchen for today.
These guys are awesome bait, so I'll save that for later on. And the same for this one. Right, we just need to get some soy sauce and some wasabi and it's time to eat. Let's eat. Good. So good. It's not bad, eh? <laughs> That's perfect. I can eat every day. Yeah, I could eat that stuff I can every, eat day. every day. Mm. One of the best fish ever, eh? Delicious. Mm. One of the tastiest fish in the sea. You could just about just eat it with the skin on. <laughs> um, you don't need to do much to this stuff. <laughs> oh man, I've first seen how much wasabi I put on that piece. You're the best. Just um, seen a really nice little piece of broken fowl just out here, and um, pretty unlikely, but I just want to cast a squid jig over it a few times just in case it just looks too beautiful. Yeah, this stuff here is just too, too good to go past. I've just got a natural top squid jig on here. Oh my god, I got one. I can't believe it. I knew it was too good. I need the net. Is this true? Yeah, it's in there. It's a squid. I knew the spot was too good to be true. I had a wicked feeling there was going to be squid here, and I've picked one up on the drop. How cool is that? What a day! Yep, net. Beautiful! Crack it! How good is that? <laughs> this day has everything! How's that now? Beautiful squid! Mean! Woohoo! I got one squid and I got one good squid bite just then. It'd be nice to get another one. We've got to call it a day very, very soon. We've got a little way to go. Um, but man, it's had a little bit of everything. That sun has pretty much disappeared and it is time for us to get home. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little notification button. We're also on Facebook if you want to check us out there.